All right, we're about to do a Zoom show for a bunch of accountants in Canada. I didn't even know they had those. Making sure it looks good, and let's log in. Um, we wanted to do something really fun and different while we're still dealing with this pandemic, so we brought in a wonderful comedian who you're gonna see in a minute. This fall, he stars in a new hilarious movie alongside John Hader, AKA Napoleon Dynamite. It being a huge, warm SB welcome to Gabe on. I don't see anybody else. What's going on? Is everybody hiding? I don't use I don't I don't use Microsoft Teams a lot, but it seems like you guys are way more shy than Zoom people. Yeah. yeah. Usually you make fun of the front row at a comedy show. Here I have F Z E L O T and D G. Nobody. Great. I can promise you this will be the best Zoom comedy show you have ever experienced. So uh, with that said, we have to first warm up, make sure we're ready to laugh. So I just want to hear what it would sound like if it was a small joke, not that funny, a small laugh. Go ahead. What would that be like here? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> and I'm just curious if, if it were to be an Eddie Murphy style joke, what's the craziest laugh this company can muster? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Perfect. So if nobody laughs, I won't take it too personal because that was the best you could do. Beautiful. Someone said, make sure to talk to Mike Key. What about him? <laughs> Who wants to know? Yeah. <laughs> May I help you? Well, it, yeah, see, I can see. You're not very good with people. Like, I already feel attacked right now, okay? All right? And I was told you attacked one of the clients so bad her husband had to call and have a strict warning and word with you, Mike, for being so mean to his wife. Oh my gosh, are you talking about the lady I made cry? <laughs> so, you had to... She, she, yeah. Okay. So you God. mind your manners, young man. Right? But there wasn't too much dirt about uh, Mike, so we had to move on to Greg Clark. Greg's a hard worker, he just doesn't like to work during normal business hours. That's what I was told. His shift goes from 9 to 10 p.m. He gets it all done. And uh, because of that, he was the only one the cleaning lady was ever able to talk to, and now they have a very tight bond together. Just Greg and the cleaning lady just getting through those taxes and personal issues. Oh, she retired. I'm sad. <laughs> so Greg has no friends anymore. It's over for Greg. Eric Easter. Oh, God. <laughs> Eric Easter's the kind of guy who, if you have some food in the office, he'll pretend to walk by and notice it, and then, oh, smell it, and then eventually beg you for your food. So watch out for that. Absolutely. <laughs> he's a vulture. They say he's the office vulture. They say Eric the Eagle Easter. Just come in there and swoop up your food and fly off. Bye-bye, everybody. Special, special, special thank you to Robert for helping us come up with some very light-hearted dirt on our team. So thank you so much again, Robert. Um, you can see more of Kayvon's comedy on kayvoncomedy.com and youtube.com kayvoncomedy.